Hello, my name is Wolfgang Frank from Arkansas IT Solutions. I would like to give you a short demo of the latest Iphonical development efforts uh, we put together with Markus Kopf and the demo is based on a Titanium mobile platform from Accelerator which is a great framework for creating uh, native Android or iPhone, iPhone applications um, in JavaScript. So, uh, how to get started? First you just install the Iphonical Accelerator plugin. We put together uh, an update site for this. Here you can oops, install the plugin the usual way. No magic there. Once you install the plugin you get a new some new toolbar icons and I just go through the demo and you will see how it works. Okay, let's first start creating a new mobile Phonical uh, Accelerator project. I need give it a name, an application ID, and a company, all which Titanium SDK version is used. I installed the 121 version recently. <coughs> Press finish and we get created our Animals TI project. Okay, it contains two main folders. Uh, one is the animals folder. This is a titanium mobile project structure with the um, JavaScript resources, etc. And you get a model folder with a sample model already pre-generated for you. Okay, the next step is just run the run the generator. This takes the model file and generates some JavaScript script based on uh, Titanium Mobile. You see some of the generated artifacts. And the next thing is I simply run the iPhone simulator. Okay, um, it's also important you can see uh, the output from Titanium Mobile also here. And I have a simple CRUD application which I can use based on the model I defined. Uh, so let's create some some docs. Um, as you see the the XXX property attribute is, is a type, is an enum. So here I get a selection box to choose from and um, the H is an integer integer so you see here I get a text based keyword and let's Save the doc, create another one. I'm a big Rocky fan. So, how was and H? I can save it. What I can also do is I can drill down into to get the detailed information and I can, can edit the information. Again, save it back to the start I can use the search capabilities and um, when you see that I exit the application and enter it again all the information is saved in the SQLite free database. Let's start customizing the example a little bit. Let's say the type instead of type we call this gender and make it this enumeration and let's say we don't only have uh, dogs but we also have cats with the same properties and let's say these cats have a cat Oops. cat type um, we have fat cats, we have pussy cats, and we have stray cats. So, okay, um, these are of cat type. So, I select the project, we run the generator, and um, <coughs> start the simulator. 
And now we see that we don't only have dogs, but we also have cats. So let's um, create a cat first. Um, call it Peter. Peter is a stray cat. And the age is five. Then create also a dog. Um, but because again, it's a male dog. Young dog. Okay, so I think you get the idea, and um, what you can see in the iPhoneical DSL, it's totally free of technology aspects, and it's um, really a very simple abstraction of um, of an application or application models in this case. Um, in this version, we only support uh, the first version just crutch applications, but we would like to also support some custom versions in the future where you can also create your US specs, you can uh, define remoting aspects on a very abstract level and uh, generate all the necessary titanium mobile JavaScript code out, out of it. Yeah, well, I think it's, it's a great way for, for rapid prototyping or um, scaffolding so you get um, a lot of of artifacts and, and code to, to start from, which you just need then to uh, to edit, or maybe it you can also use it one to one for your applications. So um, I hope you enjoyed the demo. Um, try it out, have fun, and as usual, feedback is always welcome. Thank you.